Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning into your reading. Today, we're going to be looking at what you need to know right now into your current situation and we'll see what comes up in the cards. So it can be for the Air Signs or to the Cross Watchers who are dealing with an Air Sign uh, or if you're um, connected to this sign or you're wanting them in your life romantically, um, this reading is going to help you in the current situation. But um, like I said, it is primarily focused on air signs. So um, before I begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and also sub uh, subscribe to membership if you'd like to become a channel member. You will get access to member-only content. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up. Air signs. What do you need to know right now? Overall energy, you've got the magician here. So there could be some potential manipulation happening here. There is a one-sided situation. Strong, airy so far. Lots of earth energy too. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, we've got a Sag and a, a Scorpio down here as well. So what I'm getting from this um, air signs, you need, what you need to know is the magician. Okay, air signs, I feel like the ball is in your court in a certain situation. Um... I feel like there might be some ghosting activity going on. You're sort of leaving someone ghosted or you're not pursuing something as of now. I don't know if you're in the magician energy to the point where you want to be alone, you want to be single um, and doing your own thing. But I feel like there is something about a new start and I feel like there's a new chapter, but it's like a new chapter involving you. So air signs, it's something that you want to do. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this is strong gem uh, Gemini energy as a magician though, but... um. Yeah, to see this, it makes me feel like there's something that um, air signs as a new beginning. So it's almost like there's something you've been looking out for and you've sort of, you're pumped about it. Like you're excited about it. It's a new chapter. It's something new that you want to do for yourself. And you're sort of, that's where your focus is. Um, I feel like in a certain situation here, I feel like, I don't know, I do get with the magician and the death card. I do get a ghosting situation. Some of you may be ghosted here and it's like someone that you've lost. It can be a Scorpio or an earth sign. Um, but this earth sign is like devastated. Six of five, six and four. Um, well, four, five and six, but it's backwards. Okay, um, someone's regressing. Since you haven't been connected with them or since you've been doing your own thing, air signs, this person is regressing badly. Like they're not coping too well. They're struggling, something about their mental health coming up. You know, they might be struggling with drinking. Like, they don't have peace in their life right now. Um, and I don't know, maybe it's a huge contrast. Like, you're doing super well, you've moved on, or you've got, you've got this new job, or work is doing really well, and you're giving off that magician vibration. And this person is picking it up. It could be an ex um, with the death card here, or it's someone that you recently ended things with. Um, there may be someone coming back in from the past that wants another chance or at least wants to make peace with the past. It could be like closure, um, but I get like these, the five of cups, five of pentacles is like reliving a loss. So it's someone's, someone may be feeling like they've lost you all over again in a way, uh, or it's like they're losing grip of this relationship. They thought they had it all figured out. They thought they had you all figured out and then suddenly, you know, you've pulled a magician on them and they're like, what the hell just happened? Like, what is going on with this air sign now? So I do feel like there's someone struggling. Um, you're in a better position. You're in a power play position here, air sign. So you're actually um, coping better with a certain situation. This other person, which I feel like could be from your past, it's someone you're still in communication with maybe. So maybe a Sagittarius here as well. Um... It could be that too. I think if it's a water sign from the past, in particular a Scorpio, it could be a Pisces or a Cancer as well. This person's generally coming up as the Five of Cups. Okay, so I'm picking up a vibe that this person is looking over the whole relationship air signs. Like, he's looking to the Three of Cups. Like, right now this person is focusing on the sad bits. Like, they could be really upset or they're just focusing on what went wrong. You know, they're, they're, that's where their energy is. Um, I feel like there may be a destined second chance between the both of you, you know, if fate brings you back together, the magician is manifesting air signs. So some of you may be manifesting another chance with a person here. So it's another chance to have a relationship again. And I feel like it's a twin flame or it's like a past life connection. If this is like, you know, maybe you only dated for a short while, so you didn't get enough time to know each other and do all these wonderful things you wanted to do with them. Um, and I feel like you've still held on to the memory and they may be coming back. There's communication coming in, two of cups. 
Um, but I wonder with the scales here, someone's coming in more invested than the other. Um, so that's why I get a vibe that, yeah, someone's more invested in this relationship than this other person, than you are maybe. I get that they're more invested in you at this current stage. Um, I feel like there's something that they need to be honest with you about or there's something that, has been, that they have been dishonest. Uh, could also be you, air signs. You've got some dishonesty regarding an ex. You might have recently spoken to an ex and you weren't entirely honest. Or they're not being entirely honest with you. Truth prevails over um, secrets. So I get that. You may catch someone out in a lie, air signs. You may catch them red-handed. Okay, this is getting somewhere. You may find out that they've actually been doing something they said they weren't doing. So... You know, there may have been lies and deceit and dishonesty um, between you and them. And that's coming up very strongly in the cards. So I get, yeah, that this 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 element of dishonesty um, between you and them. And I feel like you that's going to come to the surface. And maybe that's why someone's suffering here. Because they're going to find out where they thought things were true and things were legit. They may not be as truthful and as legit as this person wants you to believe so be careful of that um you know he's got the snake belt i'm wondering if some of you are being a little bit sneaky in a situation and the same lie or the same secret is being like repeated so something's got to give there because it's there's an unfairness with those scales i feel like there's an unfair situation um, that's playing out between you uh, and another person. Could be this Aries, Sag or Scorpio. But to be honest, yeah, signs, I feel like your focus is on yourself. It's like it's shifted from them and it's more on you. What you're going to do, what your plans are, how you feel. I think there was a time, once upon a time, air signs that you felt it was all about them. Like sharing them with affection and what do they want and how can I be the best person for them. And it was them, them, them. And now that's suddenly changing and maybe they're not dealing too well with it. Now they see that you're putting yourself first, you know, self-love. Um, yeah, and, and, and they're not handling that too well. Okay, they're not handling the fact that you may be doing much better than they are. Um, and it's bugging them. It's bugging them big time. Um, I'm going to leave it there, Air Signs. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe um, or sign up for membership. And if you are after a private reading, please feel free to email me and I'll send you over those details. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. So thanks again, Air Signs, and bye for now.